those moms who actually do not fall asleep while bringing my kids to bed why you're going to find out in this video first let me carry this laundry basket into the living room where I will be folding later on look at the mess that is in my kitchen imagine if I fell asleep leaving my kitchen looking like this I would be forced to wake up in a dirty kitchen and I, that would hinder me from making breakfast and having a good start of my day. This is why I, I, I just cannot even fall asleep while knowing that my house looks this untidy. So this is reality. This is how that looked after dinner. This is the dining table, also full. Sometimes it just has to be fast, you know, like feed the kids and then you start um, bathing them and dressing them and all of that. The living room, I mean, we have three little children and it, you can tell. So what I do after I bring them to bed is bring my house back in order because um, my mind is usually on overdrive and I cannot fall asleep easily. So after the kids sleep, I really do like to take that time, um, you know, to, to clean and just be me, be Martha. And yeah, and most of the time I'm also like overtouched. So I can't just fall asleep. Uh, my mind is still working. My mind is still busy. I need time to think. I need time to be myself and to enjoy the peace and silence. And I am also a night person. Most people on this channel do know that I am not a morning person. I am more a person who is active in the night. So when the kids sleep, because obviously at daytime I cannot also, I cannot also work on my content creation that is when i take time to edit it's quiet i can think i can put my thoughts in order like right now i am doing this voiceover at night time hear how quiet it is it's perfect this is my working time as a mom of three kids daytime i am working on the house i am working with the kids every week i have some zoom meetings i have a day where i do exercise at the moment i am exercising once a week and also i have uh, to post content and also interact with you my viewers and my followers so it's a lot that i do already at daytime then at night i am me i am martha this is even the time when everything went well during, during the day. I can even be dateable, okay? Yeah. As for those of you who wished to have an apartment tour, you can see a little bit on this video how we have set up the living space, the dining space, you have seen this while I do my cleaning videos and the kitchen of course so even if you are going to watch an apartment tour in future at least you can see the layout the setup as we have it now I feel like the reason why I have not shared the apartment tour yet is because we are really not done 
but um, who is even ever really done with the decorations and all of that decorations is a lifetime thing you will never ever like really get there like permanent i'm there i'll never change this you know so i think i'll just do it when when i do it yeah as for now there's a lot a lot of content that is coming your way so there's a lineup already and when i've like worked through that then i can continue with stuff like apartment and all of that you can always tell a house that has a baby look at all this baby stuff in the living room but i'm all here for it because there's a time that they are all going to move at the moment he's already like even like uh crawling kind of um at seven months he started actually at six months he's just a few days into his seventh month now and he is so active he's so fast i can't even believe it for some reason when my kids are watching tv they can't like sit still on the couch they have to move all the way to the front and they're always touching the sideboard so i had to clean it and polish it you can always see those fingerprints all over stuff now i am kind of done clearing and cleaning the living room so i'm kind of like setting the mood already even though i know there are some parts of the house still waiting for me as i was walking back past the door i noticed how many fingerprints and little hands that were on the door the the glass over there so i decided to finally do it my mirror at the entrance is always always oh my goodness always the worst wow wow so i decided to also clean that up as well i went in with the frosh from uh, you can buy this at rossman i think uh, i don't know if dm has it i think it does so yeah and everything is spotless until the next day i'm sure <laughs> so and then went ahead and cleared the dining table wiped it down and then uh, went on to the kitchen this is the last part of my cleaning for the night and then after this i can finally finally have my shower and rest but let's see how all of this goes do you enjoy cleaning videos because i find them so satisfying especially when like everything was so much and chaotic and you can see the progress i really love that this is Jay back from his, let me tell you something, he brings Jabba to bed and comes back already napped. I think he falls even asleep uh, faster than the baby. So I asked him to polish the kitchen cupboards for me because of course he's taller than me. He wasn't feeling up to it, but at least he still did it. One thing about me, I will light my candle in the evening. I will because this calms me down even more. I have my lemon water there. I refreshed my flowers because I realized they are still reused. I can still use them. And I decided to also give myself a pedicure-ish. No, actually like just a foot care or a soak because I had been standing so, so long today. So after my shower, I decided to soak my feet and treat myself. Something to keep us warm. I prepared some tea. Jay is not feeling very well at the moment. So yeah, he's drinking lots of teas. Normally he's not a tea person in the, in the evening, but when the flu comes, it humbles him enough. So he wanted to have the ketepa tea, which has ginger, this ginger tea flavor. This is from Kwetu shop. We have a Kenyan shop here in Germany that delivers across Europe and you can find them on Instagram. I will leave their details in the comment section. Part of my self care is also taking care of my homesickness and this shop here has really been it for me as for me i decided to have a sony africas that's a green tea from rooibos do you fall asleep when you bring your babies to sleep do you get back up to maybe clean your house or do you do that before you bring the kids to bed i mean do you manage to do that all the time i personally don't like really it's a it's a lot it's a lot especially when you are feeding two kids i have 
a two year old i have a seven month old and a five year old sometimes it's a it's a lot it's a lot also kindly share some of the activities self-care activities that you like to indulge in when you have some free time some me time let us know in the comment section after soaking my feet and enjoying the calm and peace and the warmth of the water because it was kind of hot i went in with a feet peeling i bought this from dm balea is a brand from dm so it's just a simple one but effective nonetheless so i, I go in with that and take off all the dead skin i also have this glove a peeling glove that i have specifically for my feet and that's what i'm going to also use after scrubbing of all the dead skin of my feet for even more soft feet you can add a bit of apple cider vinegar into your water it's also antibacterial so yeah you can go in with that as well i did forget to add this on my in my water that day but my purpose was really just to relax a foot soak for relaxation purposes and not really going into depth with my pedicure and all of this which actually i am definitely long overdue i need to have my feet done like my shellac renewed can you tell how long my toenails have grown from the shellac point you see yeah i definitely need to make an appointment and have that taken care of sometimes i just watch a movie sometimes i take a bath a long bath because i never manage to take a bath at daytime unless maybe when jay is around and which is so so seldom nowadays so then at night when they're sleeping then i can manage a bath where whereby actually the baby can wake up in between and then i have to come out of the water and then go feed the baby <laughs> give him a bottle and then come back as in it's a struggle let me be honest but i just try and find some time to just give myself back something like thank myself because wow i work so hard i give so much so while doing this i'm also giving back to myself because i deserve i deserve this at this point i feel super super relaxed and my feet are feeling light again so the only thing i have to do now is to cream them and then i will later on wear some socks while going to bed so that they uh, to keep that moisture in and also to get that softness when was the last time you really really took care of your feet let me know in the comment section because especially in winter this is something we really kind of tend to forget because we are not wearing sandals we are more into boots and all of that but yeah sometimes life happens as a mom and as a very busy person generally i have a constant to-do list in my head so watching something in the evening sometimes helps me to take my mind off things and just enter a different world so i do that sometimes thank you so much guys for watching this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below let me know what you think i'll see you in my next one bye